Tyros Anemia 1 by Lucas and Ben Pierre passed away at 8 months old and had urine that smelled like cabbage, had weak muscles, was vomiting, and was lethargic. All of these are symptoms of Tyros Anemia. What does it do? Tyros Anemia 1 occurs when enzymes called FAH is either missing or not working properly. When FAH is not working, it cannot break down the amino acid tyrosine. Tyrosine and other harmful substances then build up in the blood. FAH is an enzyme that is encoded by the FAH gene located on chromosome 15. The FAH gene is thought to be involved in the breakdown of the amino acid tyrosine in humans. Tyrosinemia is an autosomal recessive inheritance. If both parents are carriers, then their child has a 25% chance of being normal, a 50% chance of being a carrier, and a 25% chance of having this disorder. As this disorder is autosomal recessive, it is necessary for someone to have both lowercase r alleles to inherit this disorder. Since Marie's brother Andre died from this disorder, her parents must both be carriers for tyrosinemia, as neither of them had it themselves. It is most likely that only one of Guy's parents are carriers of the disease. At least one of them must have it, as they pass the lowercase r allele on to Guy. But it is unlikely that they were both carriers, as their other son Gaston and his kids do not show any symptom. Around the world, tyrosinemia type 1 affects around 1 in every 100,000 people. In the saguenay les saint jean region of Quebec, it affects 1 in every 1,846 people and 1 in every 20 people is presumed to be a carrier. Initial symptoms include diarrhea and blood stools, vomiting, poor weight gain, extreme sleepiness, irritability, cabbage-like odor to the skin or urine. Illness can result in liver problems leading to enlarged liver, yellowing of the skin, tendency to bleed and bruise easily, swelling of the legs and abdomen, and kidney problems also can happen, and this can lead to rickets and delays when walking. Treat fast. When treatment is started early, severe liver, kidney, and neurologic symptoms can be prevented. Children who are treated usually have normal growth and intelligence. If treatment is not started right away, children may have some liver or kidney damage. Rickets may already be present and need to be treated. Delays in growth and development may also be present. The effects of delayed treatment vary from child to child. Nodular cirrhosis is a rare type of scarring of the liver. It can occur in people with tyrosinemia. It often gets worse over time and can lead to serious liver problems. If not treated, it can cause liver failure, liver cancer, and death. Rickets is a condition that causes soft and weak bones. It is often caused by a lack of vitamin D. People with liver or kidney disease have a higher chance of developing rickets. Two options for prenatal testing are chronic vilus sampling, or CVS, and amniocentesis. CVS is a special test done early in pregnancy. During CVS, a small sample of the placenta is removed for testing. This sample can be used to test for certain genetic disorders. Amniocentesis is another test you could perform. A needle is used to remove a small sample of fluid from the sac around the fetus. The sample can be used to test for certain genetic disorders. Treatment options. Blood urine testing. Doctors test blood and urine to help determine amino acid levels, the amount of succinylisotone, nitosone level, liver and kidney function. They use this information to determine what type of medication is needed or if any changes should be made to their diet. Medical formula. A specialized formula gives patients the nutrients and proteins they are lacking. It keeps tyrosine levels in a safe range. The doctor helps determine what type and how much of the formula to use. It is important to have a diet made out of food low in tyrosine and phenylalanine. A patient with tyrosinemia will need to avoid meat, eggs, and cheese. Many vegetables and fruits only have small amounts of tyrosine, so they can be eaten regularly. Your metabolic doctor and dietitian will decide on the best food plan for your child. The exact plan will depend on many things, such as your child's age, weight, general health, and how well the medication is working. Your dietitian will fine-tune your child's diet over time. Medication. A medication called nidazone, also known as NTBC, is used to prevent liver and kidney damage. Nidazone will increase the level of tyrosine in your child's blood, which lessens the risk for liver cancer. A liver transplant is a surgical procedure that removes a liver that no longer functions properly and replaces it with a healthy liver from a donor. Before medication was available, liver transplants were one of the main treatment options for tyrosinemia. Nidazine should delay or prevent the need of a liver transplant.
The best treatment option is medication as it seems to be the most effective and efficient way to treat the condition.